Okay guys, so I've unloaded the mat and let's see what time is it? It's 9.24 and I started this at about 8.57, so what, 27 minutes? Almost a half hour, but that's a lot of circles. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way and then I'm going to click finish on my laptop. And then I'm going to show you what the template looks like. Okay, awesome. So let's th take this off the mat. Throw that over there. Okay. Here's the big reveal. <laughs> oh, gosh, please let it have cut the right way. I was so worried because I saw some of the circles cutting so close to the edge. And all right, so when I first did my logo and when I looked at it up close like this I'm like oh my god it didn't cut but check this out you can see all the little circles let me try to leave it there perfect so now you can see all those circles it definitely cut so let's go ahead and pull back this flock and we'll see what my image looks like. So, all right, here we go. Oh, I was a little worried there, see? All right, okay, is this in view? No, it's not. Sorry guys, I'm new to recording. Much respect to all those people that do a lot of recordings because, man, this this is, this is takes a lot of work and patience. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Now, some of them don't want to stick, but I had a heck of a time because I have to tell you about my little disaster yesterday. You know what? I'm going to do another corner where there's a lot more rhinestones and see if this comes off even better. All right. I don't know if there's a, a special trick to this as far as getting them off the mat, off the flock, I should say. Oh my gosh. There he is. There's my petroglyph. How awesome is that? Look at how nice that looks, right? So this is all the dots that are left behind. And here is, here is my magic flock. Let me unzoom. Oof, I was really zoomed up in there. Let me move this out of the way. Look at how beautiful that looks. It's perfect. So as you can see, some dots still need to be poked out, but they did cut. So one thing that I saw, um, I'm not gonna do it on my glass table. I'm gonna take this handy dandy little mat here and I'm gonna throw him on there and try to press some of these dots out of the way. So what I did yesterday I actually tried to do this yesterday and I had a bit of a, a snafu. I realized, and I don't know how this happened because I already did a die cut with my logo on it, but what happened was is when I tried to fill the template with my rhinestones, for some reason, my... Um, I may have to go in there by hand and poke some of these out, but when I initially did this, I realized some of my rhinestones did not want to fall into place or sit inside the holes. And then I'm like, man, what is going on? What did I do wrong? And it appeared that my holes were too small. Even though I selected SS10 in Sure Cuts a lot, which is the size rhinestone that I'm using. Um, it looks like they have two different sizes. They're like, 
I don't know how much of a difference, but I think I used the first option instead of the second option, which is slightly bigger, obviously, than the first one. Um, and they just didn't cut to the right size. So I was mortified. And I'm like, oh my God, I just wasted this magic flock. You don't want to waste any of this stuff. This is good stuff here. <laughs> um, so my holes were obviously too small. And because, like I've mentioned before, maybe I have not, I am an obsessive crafter. So because I wanted to make sure that that template didn't go to waste and I could make it work, well, one thing is, is I can definitely buy smaller stones for that template, but for the ones that didn't fall into place, I got my handy dandy um, chalkboard out and I went in and manually filled in all the spaces with, <laughs> with the rhinestones, but I have to show you. What helped me out here, here are some of my supplies from the rhinestone world. So here's the brush. And what I love about the rhinestone world and Matt is they're so genuine and honest. Matt says you could get this just at the hardware store. Um, so this is what I did. So what they also sell are these crayons. This is not going to focus because I got this mess in here. And then this here. So they have these little wax crayons. And so you just pick up the rhinestones with this and I place them inside the little template. So for example, I picked up a rhinestone, dropped it in there and it worked out perfect. But I wanted for recording purposes, I wanted to show you how this all works when you're putting the rhinestones in here. And it appears that I think I've pulled out every single little dot almost and then I'm going to show you real quick on how to fill up your template with rhinestones so alright so so far I think I got them all out and this looks like the rhinestones will definitely fit in um, I don't see any spots that are filled that I didn't pop out. So that looks good, right? So that's the, the sticky side. And this is the side that we'll be using to drop our rhinestones. So let me get this out of the way. And I have my handy dandy chalkboard. This was also suggested by the good people at the rhinestone world. So then you can catch all your rhinestones. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay my template down here. Um, I feel like I could have added a rhinestone there, but you know what, beggars can't be choosers. It's what it is. So I'm gonna show you how to fill in this space with your rhinestones. Now I'll show you too what they also have. So here's like your regular rhinestones right this is this is a hundred gross and I have a smaller bag that I'm going to use but then they also have these rind studs they're not stones they're like little metallic studs I got those in pink I bought them in this blue color And then I also bought them in the silver. It's, it's a less expensive route to go than crystal clear rhinestones or colored rhinestones. And I did buy these in pink. These are the crystal rhinestones. Pink, for some reason, is a, more expensive than a lot of other colors, including the clear. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to dump this on here, right? And this is how you fill. This is how your rhinestones are supposed to fall in. Oh my gosh, this better work. This better work. Oh, and it's working. 
as you can see so what you want to do is you want to go in circles focus on one area first this is actually kind of soothing guys this one right here there's one that doesn't want to fill in so look at how perfect that is last night I was going in circles and circles and circles and I'm like oh my goodness what is going on and then I realized oh my god the the template that I had cut the rhinestones were actually um, the template holes were too small This is kind of soothing, actually. So you can see the whole thing is almost pretty much full. If for some reason one or two go missing or they pop out, you can go back over and fill in that space and then continue to drag the rest of them out right or <laughs> you could be like me and then just go in there and <laughs> fill them up one by one you know I, and I was determined I didn't go to bed until one o'clock in the morning because I just was just dramatized <laughs> at the fact that I did this entire process and for some reason the stone see now I just took some out and for some reason they just were not going in the popping in the little circles so these as you can see it's working today if I would have showed you what it looked like yesterday when I did this oh my goodness so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep filling these in I'm not going to do it on camera because you get the idea. So that's how you do your rhinestone template. I'm just going to go in with my little handy dandy wax crayon and I'm going to fill those in. That's going to be a lot faster than what I'm doing at this point. There is a smaller brush as well. Let's see. There's a smaller brush. Oops, and I just took a couple out. So there is a smaller brush. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my handy dandy little. But that's way faster than what happened last night. It was just awful. I, I was just so sad. And so here is the new template. So I'm going to fill those missing holes. Um, just with the wax crayon by picking up the little rhinestone and placing them in there. At first, when I got these crayons, I'm like, okay, I'm not sure I know what this is for. And there's a couple of rhinestones just hanging around over here. So you want to make sure that when you pick this up with your hot fix tape, that you're not... Um, That you're not um, picking up extra rhinestones and pressing extra rhinestones onto your template you don't want to do that so and picking up these rhinestones with this little wax wax crayon that was kind of soothing too I'm not gonna lie and I think that's why I kept doing it because I'm like okay this is kind of fun and then to kind of see your entire piece come together and it's so sparkly This rhinestone's flipped over. He doesn't want to go straight. So for all you cricketeers out there that want to learn how to do rhinestones, um, this is going to be the most cost-effective way by using the Sure Cuts a lot. It is design space compatible. Um, and see, I like this wax crayon better than the tweezers. So you can kind of twist it off there and you don't have to sit there and mess with it too much so look at how pretty that looks
And to fill this in the right way it takes a couple minutes. If you would have seen me doing it the other day several times, there's one stuck there. Oops, and I just took two out. If you would have seen me do this um, the wrong way, you would have definitely like turned off the video. It, it was just, it was traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway look how beautiful that looks my rhinestone t-shirt i do see a couple rhinestones that need to be removed that don't belong there so i'm going to run my handy dandy brush against this template again just to get the rhinestones that don't belong in there out or i can pick them up with my little wax crayon and then just to show you real quick well I could technically do it all while we're still recording here. So this is the hot fix tape. It's not the same as it's not the same as transfer tape. Okay. So you want to make sure you don't use regular transfer tape for um, your rhinestones. Um, there's a couple stuck in there. Because um, it'll melt. And then you'll just ruin everything, all your hard work and everything that you just did. So we're going to get this out of here. And then I'll show you how to pick up the rhinestones. All right. And I have my handy dandy rhinestone world, uh, rhinestone pickup tool here. So I'm just going to brush these in here. So for all you Cricut lovers that are dedicated and loyal to the Cricut machines, there is a way to do rhinestones on there. Now there are other programs other than Sure Cuts A Lot. Um, like I mentioned before, um, they are kind of costly. They can range from four to $800 or so, um, but they are more professional. So if this is something that you wanna do uh, more consistently and a lot of, then it's definitely worth investing in a more professional um, program. Okay, so it looks like all my rhinestones are in place. And I see somebody hanging out that shouldn't be hanging out. And that's this guy right here. I hope my face wasn't in the video or my head. Totally threw my hair up in a ponytail today as soon as I got home. And let's see, I couldn't wait to get home today. All right, so everything looks fantastic. So there it is. All the rhinestones. Oops, and there's one on there somewhere. Oh, see, that's what I get for raising that. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> you guys are probably like, this girl does not know what she's doing. I do, but I'm trying to be extra by showing you. And I'm so happy that this all fell into place as quickly as it did. So it's definitely the right size. Um, actually, for sure cuts a lot for this rhinestone template, I did use um, SS11 only because my last template was too small and I didn't want to mess it up again. So, I got one more. So, I'm just going to stop fooling around and I'm going to show you. See, now this is where you need your tweezers. Okay. So we have an extra rhinestone in here that I need to get out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to cut my hot fix tape, and I'm going to make sure that I cut it a little larger than the 9 inches that I did for the template. Because when I was cutting that template, you can see how close this is along the edge. When I was watching it cut, I'm like, oh my God, did I seriously cut it too small? 
um, it barely made it. I would probably, next time I do something like this, I would add a bit extra to my measurement because I don't want to... I don't want to definitely ruin or waste any of my flock template or any other material for that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to peel this off. And, all right, Cricuteers, all my, my Cricut users, this is how you make a rhinestone template. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop it and you don't want to move it after you hit the first rhinestone because when you shift it you're going to move all your rhinestones they're going to be out of place and you're going to be mad and then you're going to have to do it again trust me i did that also when i cut the template wrong so so this is the hot fix material and you just want to rub them in there. Make sure they're all nice and stuck to your, your paper, your hot fix transfer tape. And peel it back. And if you have one that's not cooperating, just give them a little push so they can stick on there the right way. And here is my beautiful rhinestone template. So I'm gonna take my backing back and I'm gonna place it back on there. I was too scared to try to move it after I dropped it. I know it wasn't straight when I dropped it, but I didn't want my rhinestones to shift and I didn't want to ruin it. So there's my petroglyph, isn't he so perfect? So that's going to look really pretty on my t-shirt. I have a white t-shirt, but I was thinking uh, maybe a black t-shirt, but probably wear that in the summertime. So probably a white t-shirt. All right, so that's how you do it. So I will probably make another video when I am ready to press it onto the t-shirt. Um, being that this is more geared to us Cricut lovers and users, I will probably use my Easy Press to try to press that. <laughs> I have another large press upstairs, but I do have the Easy Press as well. And since this is more geared towards our Cricut users, because we don't have um, a rhinestone template in Design Space, um, I will probably, yeah, I'll figure out the temperature and probably do it on the... Uh, easy press. So thanks for watching.